but someone who doesn't agree is Labour MP for Warwick and Leamington, Matt Weston. Good morning, Matt. Good morning. So, what's your concern? Well, Trish, uh, I have many concerns, as do I think uh, the vast majority of the population, uh, that uh, this is, uh, is a very complex war, this civil war in Syria. And it's probably one of the most complex, uh, actual multilateral conflicts that we've had in decades, which is, is um, getting in, involved in it when there are so many different powers in play, whether it be ISIS, whether it be the support of Russia, whether it be Iran or Saudi Arabia, I think we're really in danger of escalating an already uh, very difficult situation. So should we sit back and do nothing? No, um, that we, we were not doing uh, nothing. And the U United uh, Nations Security Council uh, was certainly pushing uh, for action. Uh, I appreciate there was not unanimous support for any intervention because of uh, Russia's veto. But uh, the very next day, there was going to be uh, a delegation from the, uh, the Organization for the Prevention of Chemical uh, Weapons uh, to, to visit uh, uh, the, the country and Duma particularly just to see evidence. And we have to ensure in future that we have independent inspectors going to these sorts of sites with the protection of the United Nations to ascertain exactly what has happened. So, Matt, are you disputing the evidence that has been put on the table? Are you disputing that that was, that was not a chemical attack in, in Eastern Ghouta? Are you disputing that? Well, Trish, uh, <laughs> very few people in this country have uh, any evidence of that. Um, we do know that there was some sort of incident. It would uh, appear to be that has been uh, some sort of chemical attack. Uh, but that's the whole purpose about getting an independent uh, team of investigators to go in, is to determine exactly what has happened. So are, now, you, are, you uh, say, but are you saying that had it been proven there was a chemical attack, that you would have been in favour of the UK uh, taking this military action? I want to know clearly what your point of view is. If, if, uh, if uh, it is ultimately determined that there has been some sort of uh, chemical attack, then, then this needs to then go through international courts. It needs to go through the United Nations. Uh, but there are other ways of actually uh, sanctioning uh, Syria through its ally, Russia, who has the most pressure to bear on this conflict. The U.S. does not. We do not, nor does France. It is Russia is the key player in all this, uh, along with Iran. And the U.S. has actually uh, made its relations with uh, Iran uh, more, more difficult since uh, President Trump uh, came to power. I understand and that. that. Actually, a key, I understand, a key player. Yeah, I understand that, Matt. But that's a very long process. In the meantime, the argument is that people are dying. So, you know, legally, the Prime Minister doesn't need backing uh, of, of Parliament to do what she did. But you think she was wrong? Well, you know, we, what we do know is that President Trump launched an attack. The US launched an attack last April, almost a year ago to the day. And uh, we haven't seen anything change. And we've had uh, yet a further attack. We've had uh, yet more barrel bombs and other attacks on civilians in the intervening period. So we haven't gone any further forward, despite the, the attack of or the, the, uh, the attack last year although on there is, Syria although by, the, by the U.S. Although there is the significant event of a poisoning, a suspected poisoning here on our shores in Salisbury. Does that not change the goalposts? I think we're conflating two issues there. Um, I don't think we should be uh, using the Salisbury incident as some means of actually uh, yeah, launching an attack on Syria. That they're two distinctly different issues, and it would be very dangerous if we did conflate them. Okay. So uh, today, uh, the Ch uh, Theresa May will face uh, questions from the MPs in Parliament. She's asking the Speaker for permission to hold an emergency debate. What do you hope comes out of today's meeting? Well, I think it's too late. Um, I think it's very disappointing uh, that, the, that the Prime Minister did not recall Parliament. Uh, it's, she certainly had the power to, to do so. Uh, I do believe uh, the, the, the Labour Party and Jeremy Corbyn is right to be calling for a War Powers Act where Parliament has to be recalled prior to any act of war uh, being carried out by the UK because this is what essentially has happened. We have to be so careful in future in when we intervene militarily in any country on what the potential consequences may be. So I think it was, um, I think it was disrespectful to Parliament uh, by the Prime Minister. I think the, the statement that she'll make this afternoon, I'll be very interested to hear what she has to say, 
we will be able to place put questions to her. And then there may be uh, a, a debate uh, subsequently later or tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, that's almost too late. As I say, the action has already been set, right. has already been done. Thanks very much, Matt Weston there, the Labour MP for Warwick and Leamington. Vic